Hello there and welcome to this session. In this video I'm going to show you some of the basic navigations within Bloomberg. So first of all let's look at the keyboard. This is just a normal keyboard with a few extra buttons for quickness. What you'll see is the green buttons. These are action buttons. So to press enter, to go, to move forward, to go back. Also you have quick buttons to look at the news or messages if you're speaking to other terminal users. You also have F1, which is the help key. If you press this on any function, then you'll get a child window appearing, which will show you what you're looking at. You also have the red keys. You will only use these if you plan to log off the terminal. Okay, so within Bloomberg, like I said, you've got four screens. To start with, you can just maximize one for, quick, for convenience by maximizing it. If you want to minimize any screen, then just double click in the back black region and it will go back to where it was before. So, the first main thing is the command line, where the blue flashing cursor is, and each of your four windows will have one. So this is where you can start typing in where you want to be. So if you want to look at a company, we'll just type in the company name. If you press enter, Bloomberg might not know what you've looked for and you might go to a random screen or it might provide a blank error. So let's have a look. In this case, Bloomberg actually knows you're trying to search Apple but didn't know what you're searching for. So it brings up a function which is called the, Bloom, the search Bloomberg function and it will give you a range of functions or products linked to this company. Let's go back and just type in Apple again. So in this you'll have a first bit which is functions. So these are places that will show information about the word you're there typed in. Underneath you'll have a list of securities and this is really where you want to look if you're looking for a company or a product. So first of all you'll see the word equity that refers to the company ownership and if that's the case we're really looking at the share or the share price. Wherever you see the likes of government this may be linked to sovereign debt. You may see the word corp this links to corporate debt, such as bonds. You may, may see likes of M money market, and that again would be short term debt for the company. But ultimately, when you type the company in, under the securities field, the top one is probably the one you want. But sometimes a company may be listed on two exchanges, just like Apple is, listed on the US exchange and the NASDAQ. If you click on both, you'll get the same menu and the same information. So here we'll click on the top one. So Bloomberg is a menu user interface. So what that means is you can click on a, one menu, will lead to another menu, will lead to another menu. To go to the main menu, you type in main in the command line and press go, and then you get a list of all these different menus. So I'm gonna go into the equity one, and it'll narrow down and it will remember what I was looking at before. So I'll type in Apple so I can go back to where I was using 16 Analyze Apple Equity. Within this menu, I'll show you a couple. So let's go on the security description, DES. I'd always recommend this for a company or a product or a commodity that you are unsure what it is. Always start by looking at the security description. In here, it gives you a snapshot of the company. If it's, a, if it's an equity, it'll show you the share price, some of the estimates, the management. Here you have additional buttons, again, where you see a, z, a, a number and a colon. You will see, you can click here to get to drill into more information. Each function will have a red toolbar. On this toolbar, this is where you can normally import or export or change the settings. In this case, you can provide an output in the form of a report. 
If you click that, it generates a PDF to give you an overview of Apple. Also, in the top right, you'll see a question mark. So if you want to get help or you don't understand what this function is, click there and say launch help page and this is where the child window will appear. Alternatively, you could have pressed F1 on your keyboard. Now to go back, you can press the back button, which is right of the enter key, or you have these arrows up here, and that'll take you back to the previous menu. If it doesn't, don't worry. Remember, you can just start again. So go back to the command line, and we'll just type in Apple, and select it from the securities list. And that will get back to the menu we wanted. Let's look at the financial analysis page, which is FA. So on here you have a range of information regarding Apple's accounting data. So you have the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow, ratios, segmental analysis and economic, environmental, social and corporate ratios. In here, you can change this to make it custom to look at specific things you're interested in. Bloomberg will provide a kind of uniform format. If you want to see how the company reports its accounts, you'd use the as reporting mini tab and it will transform the data, and this is how it should appear within Apple's annual report. Within this, you can actually click on any of these numbers for full transparency, or to get an understanding, or to drill down in more detail. Over here, you have little graph features, so if you want to chart this revenue, you would click on the, the graph feature, and it will show you the revenue in the form of a chart rather than the numbers. This will be published in the currency that Apple reports. If you want to change this, you can use this drop down to convert into whatever currency you'd like. Alternatively, if you want to look at more years of data, this periods feature, you can change this to say, let's look at the last 15 years. It'll give you that there. Again, you have the red toolbar where you can export some of this information or change the settings. Let's go back to the previous section and we'll look at one more function in this navigation video and we'll look at the line chart, GP. So on this, you have the share price graph for Apple, and on here, all the buttons up here mean you can change the periodicity of the chart. On here, you can be more specific and change it to a time period you like. Please bear in mind that Bloomberg is an American system, so whenever you the dates are when you have to manually put the dates in, it goes month, day, then year, because it's America. Within this function, there are other, are other features. So for instance, you can annotate the graph, use an annotation tab here, and you'll get a menu on the left-hand side. And you have know, play with this, so you can see what the biggest drop was there, and it'll come up saying 38 point. 73%. You can add lines of support and resistance to track breakouts within technical analysis trends if you'd like. This news button, if you click that, you'll get a tracker. So you can see there was a big there was a spike on that day. If we click that day. Bloomberg will pop up a child window and tell you what the news was on that day about Apple to give you an idea of what caused the spike. Button over here, 
means you can actually start adding to this. So if you want to compare Apple with another company, you can just type in the company here. So that's all Samsung. So Samsung Electronics, French equity. It will give you Samsung share price here in the green. Within this feature, you can add other credentials. So you can add kind of corporate events within Apple, or you can add further charts, or you can even change the volume chart at the bottom. But that's something to explore within this feature. If you want to close that, just press the slider and it will disappear. Again, you can look on the toolbar to export this or to print screen it. Alternatively, alternatively you can right click on the chart and again you can look to export or copy some of the data elsewhere. So for instance, if you want to export the image as PDF, right click, go export as PDF and click there. Alternatively, you can copy the data to clipboard. In that case, you could copy that and open up Excel and then press enter and you get all the historic data, which is where it says table here. You get all this data in Excel. So I hope they've shown you them free functions, gives you an idea of how to navigate within Bloomberg. But always remember, if you do get lost, just go back to the command line and just type in what you're looking for and wait for the menu to appear and then you'll probably find where you need to be. Thank you for watching this video.